the concept of environmental justice is that uh, people of all income and races should have equal access, equal protection under the environmental laws of the country. And yet the actual practice is that communities with fewer resources don't have the same access to that fair treatment. And Pam DeShiel, who was the president of the Holy Cross Neighborhood Association, definitely felt that their neighborhood was an environmental justice community. So they had uh, this priority of restoring their wetland. Uh, we had a water resource management practicum. And so uh, here we had a match between the educational goals of the practicum and a community that had a problem that could be our client. The Mississippi River is one of the largest rivers in the world. It drains 40% of the United States. For the, New, the city of New Orleans to establish itself, it needed to cut itself off from the seasonal flooding of the Mississippi River. As the city grew up, they started constructing levees all up and down the, Missouri, the Mississippi River, not just in New Orleans. But so essentially, the Mississippi River is only allowed to flood in a few places along, along its entire course. One has to be struck that when you do climb over that flood wall that you realize how close you are to downtown New Orleans. It can be a symbol of the need for coastal restoration uh, throughout the, the Gulf region. You see cypress stumps uh, that represent what used to be a healthy cypress forest. It is very striking to look at aerial photographs uh, from the 1930s up to the present, in which you can see that the uh, entire uh, Bayou Venue Wetland Triangle, which is approximately 440 acres, is uh, a healthy cypress swamp. There's a lot of economic um, incentive around here to, to destroy the wetlands, and that's a lot of the large-scale wetland loss has been caused from canals that have been, that have been dredged for shipping and for oil and gas and things like that. One of the post-Katrina occurrences was the flooding from the Murphy oil refinery that caused a lot of concern about pollution mixed in with the floodwaters. You look at the number of polluting entities that surround a community, and one of the things that is somewhat hidden from neighborhood view but is right there in the wetland is the East Bank Sewage Treatment Plant. And so this is what in the environmental justice literature is termed a locally unwanted land use. It has been incredible work to bring this community back and to bring it together. So many, many groups and volunteers and individuals and institutions and churches and corporate folks. It's just been amazing, but the, the nexus and the hub of it is our neighbors, the people here in this community helping themselves and pushing forward no matter what. So the community in its recovery process since Katrina said, well, it's no good if we just recover and rebuild our homes, we need to rebuild the, the, the bayou. So this is sort of a test plot we're doing today. We've got University of Wisconsin students uh, and a company called Floating Island. We're going to put these islands out in the water and with wetland plants that were donated by a couple of nonprofits here, uh, Common Ground and uh, Bayou Rebirth. And so we're hoping that this can be a model for other people to, and ways to bring back Cypress, to get the community involved in restoration and find out how they can work with it in the future and also really environmental education so that, you know, the younger people and the older people know the importance of, of having a healthy environment in their area. I think anytime you have a disaster, the biggest mistake we make is not allowing the, the, the communities to be a part of the, the healing pay them that money, then you're not waiting and begging for people to do something right. We need to take part in that. We need to definitely make that a part of disaster relief. My hope is that there is some system developed to recognize that some populations are affected differently 
and that there's more resources made available after disasters to help those areas rebuild. Um, and I, my hope is that the, the Bayou Bien venue triangle can become part of that restoration, that that will bring resources into the community so that people can begin to work in that restoration project. Other people who are coming to see it will bring resources to the Lower Ninth Ward. So that would be one of the best outcomes from this project. My goal has always been from the educational side. The opportunity to work with the students, their enthusiasm, their talent, their initiative uh, it has been rewarding and, and I think it's, the students have had an impact on the community uh, hopes for restoring the wetland going into the future.